Howdy, tabletop RPG fans. Thank you for supporting this channel. I'm Rango Me Grand Poobah of Game Design, and this review today topic is the Baron Munchausen RPG. Hieronymus Karl Friedrich von Munchausen was a real German baron of the Duchy of Brunswick and Lüneburg. He fought for the Russian Empire in the Russo-Turkish War from 1735 to 1739. When he retired, he was regaled throughout Europe for his tall tales of adventures. Many of these stories were collected and retold anonymously by Rudolf Erich Rasp in German through many magazine stories and later collected into an English book published in 1785. The Baron was not pleased by Rasp's embellishments of his tall tales. I grew up in an age of authors, cartoons, and television writers telling their own tall tales. My inspirations were the exploits of Paul Bunyan, Pecos Bill, John Henry, the cartoon embellishments of Commander McBrag, real-life shenanigans of Teddy Roosevelt and the authors like Mark Twain. It was only natural that I fall in love with the amazing stories of the Baron and his troop of misfits. Stories of the Baron have inspired films such as Georges Melies, a German production filmed in World War II, and the rather famous version by Terry Gilliam with John Neville, Eric Idle, Robin Williams, Uma Thurman, and many more celebrities. As much as the Baron has inspired many creative works, it wasn't until the diligent work of James Wallace uncovered the long missing manuscript for the new kind of parlor diversion intended for gentlemen and ladies to partake in. As the story goes, it was delivered to John Wallace, his ancestor, in 1798 as a new style of role-playing game. James published the original role-playing game from the Baron's design some 200 years later in 1998. The Extraordinary Adventures of Baron Munchausen in the first edition was a splat book format with all of 24 pages. The game involved dissembling cooperatively or competitively in a small group with plenty of liquor. The idea being to convey your version of an outlandish story without a break unless it is to drink deeply from your beverage. When you can no longer maintain such a pace, it is the next participant's opportunity to turn the tales to their own ends. The rules are encapsulated on the last page. Create your noble name card, regale your story, interrupt, wager, duel, and reward coins for superb storytelling or outlandishness. I've never had cause to believe that James was prone to embellishment, so I'll take him at his word as a gentleman about the veracity of the other editions. It would seem that the Baron was corresponding with John and Edward post the original manuscript hoping to see proceeds from the rules being published. All of this content has created three editions of the RPG for fans of the game to enjoy. The second edition, as published in 2008, claims to use the third edition of the Difference Engine with greatly expanded content. The expanded content includes two expansions or minigames, the Baron's Late Adventures in Arabia, including encounters with such sailors known as Simbad, and My Uncle the Baron, a somewhat simplified game intended for families. The third edition was published in 2016 and contains all of the previous content in a hardback binding, new amazing artwork, and a new section with 12 mini-game settings including Comrades or Soviet Goes, Protagonists or Gutenberg's Revenge, Inventors or Patent Nonsense, Supernatural or the Monster Mix-Up, Veterans or Rewrite Only Memories, Neolithics or Cave Catan, Supervillains or Smirsh and Grab, Occultists or The Recall of Cthulhu, Psychogeographics or The Munchausen Crescent, Forces or Space Invaders, Cats or Once More with Feline, Immortal or Eternal Affairs. In 2017, at a Dundercon game convention, I gave two presentations about improv for gamers and how to use improvisation techniques to improve being a game master or player. One of the many improvisation activities was called That Time I Met Baron Munchausen. Each player has one minute to explain what happened when they met the Baron, and then the 
next player interrupts. The next player can either claim hogwash the way I remember it was, or actually when I met the Baron, and tell their own story. To turn this from an activity to a proper game, continue embellishing these stories loop after loop. A player who has stumbled out can be rescued by another player mentioning them before their next turn. This episode is brought to you by Kaboomkin, the smaller, faster, funnier RPG of cartoon fairy tale post apocalypse mayhem. It's time to blow stuff up. Get it now at www.kaboomkin.com. Thank you all for watching this episode. Hit like, subscribe, or ring the bell, or Booger will get you. If you want to see more videos like this, go to hopspush.com and buy an RPG or t-shirt. Do good, annoy evil, and bye-bye.